Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so, as the title on the thumbnail said, these are some good things and some bad things about living in Thailand. I mean, a lot of you never realise there are bad things, but there are. Um, anyway, we're, uh, I thought I'd take you down around Koza Beach. Um, just walk along by the restaurants, show you where they are, and then go down between two restaurants. You can go down to the beach and we'll go along the beach. This is very early morning. This is 8.30 in the morning, but already there's some people on the beach, so I had to do, to do a little bit of editing to cut people out here and there. But anyway, um, so about the good things and the bad things, let's try and make them even if we can. Um, the major good thing, one of the major, major good things, that I think, for living in town, is the cost of living. I mean, it's really, really cheap. I know it isn't as cheap as it used to be years ago. First time I ever came many, many, many years ago, it was really cheap. Still cheap now compared to the West. Uh, I mean, uh, apartments, condos, houses, whatever, renting stuff, which I, I would never buy, but renting is, is, is still what what 30 percent of what he would pay in in the west or in the states or in europe probably about 30 percent it's really cheap uh, the renting i've shown you lots of indie videos and and, and you from your comments you, it's very obvious that you you agree with me um and things like food and all the rest of it everything's cheap um I mean, you know, clothes, you, you've seen me when you've we've been to the markets, everything is cheap. Um, and I, I not when I say cheap, not cheap quality, it's nice quality. Uh, the, the condos are nice quality. Uh, when you go in the shopping malls, you, you've got nice clothes and everything. Everything's good quality, pretty much. Um, except, the, obviously, the scammy stuff, which I'll, I'll mention later. Um, but basically this is a major 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 good point okay uh, let's just switch to a bad point that is the suicidal traffic i mean these guys uh, they're buddhists and they have they believe in fate and they don't believe in wearing helmets they don't believe in um, rules and being careful they think whatever is going to happen is going to happen whatever it's not going to make any difference what they do that's the way they think so if you have that mindset then you'll just do whatever you like because the the, the consequence is there waiting for you whenever wherever it's going to happen so it doesn't matter what you do now so you, you can ignore all the rules on the road i mean they just run through re red traffic lights but the the rule in thailand is that with traffic lights well not major ones but most traffic lights this is the way down to the beach by the way down between the two uh, restaurants here um <coughs> the rules are that if it's not a major major traffic light uh, you can turn left and you're allowed to on a red light bit like you can in the states uh, you, where you, you would turn right um so <coughs> what they do is they turn left go maybe three or four or five meters a few yards and swing to the right cut right across the front of the the stationary traffic and then just go straight across so they're like making a little a little u-shape and then going but basically they're, they're running red light they do it all the time they jump red lights they do it's uh, they cut people up it's just atrocious and the worst one of the worst things about it is that they don't know they're doing wrong because they've never been taught anything none of them have ever been through any training school training course of any sort many of them at least 50 or 60 percent don't even hold a license and the police don't care no brown envelopes so <clears throat> that is a major major like bad <laughs> thing about thailand uh now well, let's see the next good one um is food well i think everyone would agree about that um it's all real food there's no processed food unless you go and buy mama cup or something at, at seven but basically everything is real food uh, y you can go buy your own uh, ingredients and cook for yourself uh, but it's all like it's not processed stuff like you get in the supermarkets if you don't want it to be you can go to markets and buy stuff you can buy stuff that's cooked fresh outside um 
it, it's just the way it is. Uh, the food is, uh, even if you do, if you don't like spicy, I'm not keen on spicy, but you can still get lovely Thai food, which is not spicy. You can get all different things. I mean, they had uh, a pack kapow the other day, and that's normally spicy, but you just tell them only a little bit spicy or no spice, and then they just don't, don't put the chilies in, so not a problem. This is uh, Cozy Beach, by the way. Uh, I just thought I'd just show you. Um, now, let's see. Food. Oh, you, you know about Thai food. I'm sure you know about Thai food. Um, right, so let's go on to a bad thing. The bad thing is the visa system. Um, the visa system is... It's a pain in the neck. It really is. Um, I mean, it's unnecessary. It's almost like they don't really want you to want you there. It's, it's just it's unnecessarily complicated every 90 days having to go and, and, and produce your, your, your um, passport and all the rest of it and say where you live it's just ridiculous um, especially when people have been living here for a long time you know? um, uh, generally most people tend to use um, an agent I mean I wouldn't bother doing it uh, a, a renewal, a visa renewal, uh, without an agent. I mean, I did the other day, I did a driving license without an agent, but that's a different ballgame. Not the same. Visa, you really need to be using an agent. But it's a pain in the neck a every 90 days having to do something. So you just put everything in the hands of an agent and let them do it and just pay it. It costs you money, but it's not a fortune, you know? Uh, let's just go back to something which is good as I did a video the other day uh, the, the, the week rather on healthcare healthcare care in Thailand is brilliant absolutely brilliant um, as we said before on the previous video uh, wonderful hospitals um, if you're not too old then you can get insurance and it's uh, it's, it's really it's not it's not too expensive if you're not old it's when you get older that's when it climbs considerably but you need to have uh, have some money aside that's what you need to do um, <coughs> let's just uh, go on to something else which is not good um, one of the things people don't like is the humidity uh, it's very very humid almost all the time I mean, it, you just sweat. Uh, I mean, I used to live in Dubai and work in Dubai for two years before I came to Thailand, as I've mentioned before. But that was dry heat. That was 45 to 50 degrees centigrade, but it was dry and you didn't sweat. Here, it's humid and you sweat like, like nobody's business. You really do. Um, now, you've got to get used to it. Some people can't. And, and they end up going home because they just cannot stand the heat. Well, not just the heat, but the humidity, the sweating. And once it gets above about uh, 31 degrees or so, that's when the human body or mind tends to sweat constantly all the time. I mean, that's why when you come in, you, in your condo, you turn on the air. Uh, and, and I have the air around about sort of 26. Uh, which means that I don't sweat at all, which is nice. As soon as you go outside, within five minutes you're sweating. And, and it's constant, absolutely constant. Um, so some people really can't stand that. That's, that's a bad thing. Um, a good thing? Okay, another good thing. Um, safety. It really is a very, very, very safe country. I can't uh, express that enough. It's really safe you can walk around anywhere uh, pretty much even at night uh, in Pattaya and you're not going to have a problem unless you create it yourself and you know call somebody a name or something dumb you know unless you're drunk and you don't take care of yourself if you have your wits about you and you're not st stupid and you don't call people names or do something really daft or be aggressive then if you if, if you behave properly you'll never have a problem you'll never have a problem i have been here 13 years not once have i ha had a problem and i've been around on my own all over the place all the time never a problem you know so it's really safe um it's it up to you if you you know how you behave but 
that's my opinion um, a bad thing is the language I mean I learned to speak Thai to a very basic degree so if somebody doesn't speak any English at all I can speak to them okay but the worst thing about Thai is not just remembering the the words the worst thing about it, the most difficult thing about it in my opinion is the pronunciation because it's a tonal language and if you get the tone just a little bit wrong which is very easily done by people who come from a non-tonal language like English uh, they don't understand you've said something completely I mean something completely different so you've got to be careful about how, uh, getting the tone right um, and if you uh, if you're in Patia you don't have to speak Thai you can get away with not doing um, but it's nice to be able to especially when I come across people who are just down from the village who don't speak any English and can't really converse with anybody if you can speak some basic Thai only basic it makes all the difference suddenly your eyes light up and oh I can talk to this person <laughs> you know and, and if they speak slowly then then I can manage I can talk for you know for, for as long as you like and that's just with very ba very basic time so you can go to school you can go to education um, get, get an, if you're young you can do an education visa and learn the language it's a good thing to do if you're going to be here for a long time at least a basic level you don't need to speak properly um, but it's funny sometimes I hear some Fulang uh, who speak Thai and I know from the way they've said it in their English accent that the person didn't understand a word <laughs> because the way they say it they don't use tones they just use words and it means nothing it's quite laughable really when I hear it uh, sometimes anyway um, <coughs> but that that is not not a good point something which you know you you you'd be better off learning the language a little bit if you could um, that's a good, a good point is actually the general weather I mean look at what we're looking at now on the beach uh, yeah, this is April I mean it's the same but in December it look, it's the same it's actually a bit cooler but not much but look at the weather the weather if you come from northern Europe especially in north like the Scandinavian or Germany or UK or you come from Canada or north north of, the, the, uh, of North America if you come from there um, then you get proper winters with snow and ice and not nice in my opinion um, and you have to wrap up put loads of clothes and all that well here you don't I mean I don't own any thick jacket or anything I don't own a, a pair of socks I don't own a pair of gloves I don't own anything like that you know it, it absolutely it is unnecessary I think I have one pair of jeans and one pair of like chino type long trousers uh, and everything else is shorts you know the, the weather the general weather is absolutely beautiful if you don't mind heat you know it does get a bit hot like it is now it does tend to get a bit really um, but it's okay I, I mean if, if you if you like Good hot weather you'll be fine absolutely fine you just have to be careful with the uh, um, the humidity but basically it's it's generally it's good uh, some of the bad things well you, you get scams here you, you know all the usual scams I mean you've heard them all before um, like the, the taxi scams they put, the meter doesn't work and all this nonsense and um, uh, selling stuff which is is not genuine I'll tell, talk about that in a minute but I mean th the first time it ever happened to me was years and years ago when I first came and I wanted to go to the Grand Palace uh, in Bangkok and I, I went to a tuk tuk and said can you take me to the Grand Plas Palace and, and he said oh it's closed today and I thought hang on I've read somewhere on the internet that that's not true so I went to another taxi and he just took me and I thought oh right that 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 that's my first scam ever in 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 thailand that was many 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 years ago but there's also facebook scams as things i mean there's that there's, there's the one where uh, somebody advertises some lovely condo at a really good price in in the center of patia 
and the, this you say send a deposit and we'll meet you there and then when the girl meets you there if it's a look some tasty really tasty girl in a car she meets you there and she says oh i'm sorry the person hasn't left yet you have you have to come back tomorrow takes you somewhere else miles away and now jump in and then that's it leaves you that sort of scam that's facebook scams that they, they happen here um which you've just got to have your wits about you you know really um <clears throat> another thing which is a good thing is the the politeness of the ties are so polite and why all the time it's really nice to see it because you don't see it in any other country many other countries i've never seen it in any other country actually but they just like, put their hands together and do a why and, and and speak nicely and quietly and never show like um uh, aggression or, or not often anyway you know it's it's a very very polite place which is lovely um another thing which is not not good perhaps is how how far it is from your own country I'm going to take you uh, 24 hours to ever go home if you want to or what used to be home this is now my home um, but that's another bad thing a good thing is nightlife <laughs> wow <laughs> that is one of the very best things about Patia nightlife I mean you know what other videos I've done you know what the score is if you've been here um, you know how fantastic the nightlife is not just uh, GC's not just nightclubs not just bar but the whole f scene is just amazing um, and then to follow on from that the last bad thing we'll do is excessive drinking and getting addicted to partying you know that is not good and that happens all the time with guys you've got to be careful you really have so anyway just a, a whole bunch of good uh, good things and bad things about thailand about patia particularly and don't forget guys look below click where it says more and then click the patreon link and have a look at the amazing patreon videos we have got down there and please subscribe like share and ring the bell and thank you very much for watching guys see you in the next video